how you doing? <laughs> if you don't already know, my name's Kathy. My name's Tom. And we're the marvelous Donna Hughes. And see, see how I did that? I said I said it right away. I didn't I didn't wait like last video. Yeah. But you didn't say welcome either. Welcome. <laughs> it's too late now. Too late. Welcome, everybody. We're the Marvelous Donna Hughes, and we have the best Marvel review show for Disney Plus television on the internet. Or interwebs, if you prefer to use that. Term. In the Which world, we use. In, in our opinion. In our opinion. In our opinion. Which is true. It's, it's true. And you know what? We just want to start off by welcoming everyone and thanking you for uh, joining us on our journey as a Marvel head, and welcome to the Marvel head family. That's right, that's right. And just as a sneak peek, we might start having some merch later in the year, 2022 yes. resolution. Yes. yes, to have some merch, but I don't, I don't know what's gonna be people. I don't know, maybe uh, a t-shirt. Yeah, maybe a t-shirt. Or a mug, <laughs> people like mugs. Oh my In gosh. fact, I should not spoil this, but I got a very sweet uh, mug for my wife for Christmas. I know. It was a baby, uh, a baby, well, baby Yoda. It's not really Yoda, yeah. right? A Mandalorian, the baby, kind of Yoda. -ish baby Yoda. Everybody's calling it Baby Yoda. Baby, I'll just call him Baby Yoda. So if you are following us on Instagram, I'm gonna insert it there. Next time I should bring my, I'll bring my mug next yes. time, and I'll, I'll, I'll preview it on the on next there. episode. Next episode. But we thank you, and if it's your first time. Uh, finding us, like we said, we do uh, reviews on Marvel, Disney Plus uh, television series, and sometimes movies. We did one on Shang Chi, and we're going to be doing one on the Eternals uh, whenever we get a chance to watch it. So um, that'll be something special. We'll announce it on Instagram. So get social with us, Please. chat it up with us, and like and subscribe. If that's the kind of thing, uh, or we're the kind of couple that you like. That's right. And if we're not, keep watching. <laughs> keep watching I mean, anyway. Why, just why, like why not? What yeah. else you got to do? <laughs> Lots. Let me tell you. People are busy. And please busy. tell all your friends and family. Mm -hmm. Even people you don't like. Yeah. Yeah, come watch us. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But let's get started. Let's Today, uh, Tom's going to drive, and he <laughs> is <laughs> going to uh, get... Get started. We're on episode two of Boba Fett, and we are. Uh, you guys, I'm enjoying Listen, it. If this you're not episode, watching that series, would you please watch that series? It's oh awesome. my goodness, you guys! I'm loving it. It's like uh, it's like we talk about in our other videos. Mm -hmm. Onion. We're unwrapping the onion. In this one, mm -hmm. we're answering the question: Boba is a warlord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where his presence is. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, he's on Tatooine. Yes. He is a warlord. Mm -hmm. He's taken over or for someone. Figured. Yeah, I would I would just say he the diode because yeah, yeah, dio, I don't, I, dine, from Daimyo. Daimyo. I would not say that. Please tell yeah, us let, us know. let us know. Let us know. But for me, uh, this episode says, is he really? You know, it Good makes question. yeah, it makes me question mm -hmm. if he if he really is. And I said Tom was going to start off, but actually he's not. I'm going to start off because <laughs> be, the because the last episode, he was attacked and there was an attempt uh, assassination. Whoop, if you haven't seen it, you guys are watching episode two with us. So there are some spoilers. Beep, beep, beep. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert's going to go right there. And... Um, he was attacked, so he's he's put some the two big green guys put him back in the tank. That's right. And he goes into this dream state. That's right. And he goes back to when he was captured with the tribe. That's right. The but sand people. The sand people. But as you um, well, as you learn more about him, this tribe eventually is going to become his family as That's it right. develops because. He's back at the tribe. He's dreaming. Mm -hmm. And one of the little kids have has taken him out and another guy. Uh, one another guy, they've enslaved. And they have um, 
uh, they they run to this monster, him and the kids. So they're digging. There's a lot of sand. There's a lot of sand, sand monsters in sand sand and Tatooine. I wouldn't want to live there. I'll no, I wouldn't either. So the kid has him digging for these gourds. And these gourds have water in it. Yeah, because Water gourds. Yeah, and the sand people drink it and live off of it. And this kid's terrible to him. He like he digs up a gourd. And, oh, the funny part. Let me go back a little bit. The funny part was that the guy that he is enslaved with, they're tied to to each other, chained to each other, actually, and they're digging for these gourds. And the guy that he's enslaved with, he, <laughs> he keeps finding them. He's like, "Yes, here I go." And I got Bob is like. like- I keep finding this. He's like, what? I've been digging. I can't find it. I get it. So finally, he finds one, and he takes it, and he drinks it. The kid's like, give me that, you know, and he takes it. The kid takes it and dumps it out, you know. So he gets really mad. So the kid's relaxing with his dragon dog, and um, he saves the kid, you know. He saves him. And this is where I think, Mm -hmm. this is where it seems like he's going to get some, I hate to use the phrase, street cred, but he's Mm going to get some credibility with the elders. In the tribe. In the tribe, because they're like, oh, you know, he really didn't have to do that, but wait a minute. Maybe we should, like, look at this guy. He saves the kid, but the kid comes back, and he tells everybody that he actually killed the big monster. And Boba Fett doesn't mind because he's like, ah, he's a kid. He can have it. You know, everybody knows what really happened that's right so one of the tribesmen he comes up and he gives baba fett a drink and he kind of pats him a little bit like hey yeah. you know what thanks for saving my kid yeah. and because he and, knew the truth yeah he knew the truth yeah. you know thank you yeah. and then we leave there and we fast forward to the present. That's right. Go the ahead, present. Tom. So the present is, is is we talk about him being crime lord. Mm-hmm. He took over for a couple of, of unsavory dudes, Jabba the Hutt. Mm-hmm. And uh, Everybody also knows Jabba. For, Fortuna. Fortuna. First it was Jabba the Hutt, and then it was Fortuna. Fortuna, and now it's, and now it's Boba Fett. Boba Fett. So we have covered the past. Now he's in the tank, and he wakes up. And he's in the present. He's in the present, mm-hmm. and he's not not respected. Mm-hmm. People aren't respecting him. The mayor isn't respecting him. Always fighting with him. Mm-hmm. And uh, then he sends the. I'm looking at my notes, everybody, in case you're wondering why I'm looking down. But uh, order of the night wind. He's mm-hmm. sending people to try to try to kill him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he says, "Well, listen, we're going to go see the mayor." So yeah. He and he and uh, uh, Fennec go and and take the prisoner back, and um, he's labeled. So right. this is one reason they don't respect him. They think of him as only one thing, a bounty yeah. hunter. Yeah. You know, and he serves at the pleasure of the mayor. So, yeah, you know, Baba is actually the man in charge. Right. right. And the thing of it is, he's not serving in the pleasure of the mayor. He's supposed to be... No, the mayor is serving in the pleasure. Oh, okay. That's what I meant to All say. Right. But Sorry. that wasn't clear. Yeah. The mayor is serving at the pleasure of Baba Fett. Right. And I think people don't respect him because, number one, he don't have people carrying him around. Where's your litter, uh, sir? Yeah. We, don't, we don't see you not being carried... Listen, I wouldn't want to be carried around. Either. I know he was like, "Listen, I don't do that. I uh-huh. walk." Yeah, he doesn't have the persona for the job, and this is what they're thinking. There's right. like, he's not ruthless enough. Right. Job of the Hut was ruthless, so everybody feared him. Yep. So that was going on there, you know. He, they feared him, yep. so he was more like, "Hey," yep. uh, until you know, he was killed by Princess Leia, if you remember that. Exactly. <laughs> I was just simulcasting what happened in that episode when she got him with a chain. Yes, you know, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something that leading that group of outlaws or that town, you know, there's a lot going on there. It takes there. a lot of will. It takes a lot yeah. of strength and character. Right. And it's, but, lo- it's a lot of lawlessness. Well, but see, that's the whole point. That's That's what you're forgetting. He does have strength of character. No, 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 not him. But I mean, there's a lot of a lot of lawlessness around. No, no, no. You said it takes a lot of strength and character. Oh, yes, that's true. No, you got you can't have any kind of character and be in charge of that town because oh, they are expecting him to kill like everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, and be like Baba the Hut about uh, Job, Job Baba. <laughs> That's his twin brother, Bob yeah, the Hutt. Job of the Hutt. Job of the Hutt. You know, yeah. because he does have character. Oh, that's true. He does have the the ability to be of good character. So, right now, whoop, let's go into the past. So, whoop. they are 
Uh, so we'll go into the past. I'm sorry. There's a Boba Fett. He's one over the tribesmen, right. and they're hanging out and doing stuff. And one of the tribesmen or woman is teaching him how to fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He saw something in in Baba and said, "Listen, y- you could be a good fighter here." So he teaches him how to fight. And they're practicing, and he's getting better and better. He can't beat him yet, but he's getting close, right? Right. right. So one day, they're fighting, and a train comes by, and everybody's like, whoa, train, 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 you know, hide, hide. Yeah. And they're shooting. The people on the train are shooting and killing the tribe. Yeah. And that night, they have a bonfire with uh, the bodies, and Baba's like, this is insane. Yeah. Who's killing you guys? Yeah. So to make a long story short, mm-hmm. you know, Baba goes and he he gets um, gets some motorcycles and and those are the speeders. Yeah, the speeders mm-hmm. and and teaches them how to ride and. Um, that was kind of a funny part. It you was go like this. You gotta go like this, and they wanted when he first brought him back. Uh-huh. Was like, you, the kind of like the humorous side. Right. Is, they're all trying to like scavenge. You're like trying to take it apart. No, dude, you're not supposed to be taking it right. apart. You're gonna get on this and do this and ride. Right. It. And he's like teaching them, and they were able. Um, he teaches them how to ride, and they go oh, and they go and take over the train. Yeah. And he conquers the train, and he says, "Listen, from now on, you're not going to be killing them. You're going to be paying them money to go through their land instead of treating them like trash." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when he goes back um, to the tribe, conquered. You know, he had conquered. Oh no, I think the chief comes to him, yeah. and he praises him. He was like, "Listen, I did this for you. I did this for your tribe, right, right. so you can have honor and respect yeah. and money, so you guys don't have to live like this." That's you right. know. Yeah. So they take Baba and they initiate him into the tribe. Yeah. And I won't say how, but you guys, you need I, to watch it. it you need to very, watch it. It's very spiritual. It's very, very. Um, Oh, it's very kind of emotional. You're not not crying. Right. But you're, you're yeah, really I did cry. In, I felt like I was you're taken in by you're taken in by the the majesty, right? You want to call it? Yeah, and the tradition, tradition because yeah. um, he's from New Zealand, and New Zealand there is a special there's a there's a, a special kind of uh, fighting stick. And he made one of those fighting sticks. Mm-hmm. It looked a lot like a tribal stick. Yeah, it did. And they were, you know, they dressed him in his tribal robes and all these great things. Yeah. Yeah. And he felt like he was home and family. And that's why I was telling Tom, you said, you know, it takes a lot of character and stuff to, to tame that town. No, that town, he, I think my personal thing is he's got too much character and, um, too, just too much goodness, right? You know, to be running that town. That's why he's not able to do it well because he's not ripping off people's heads. He's not right. killing them right. that's the why, way. That's why they don't respect. Him. Yeah, they don't respect him or fear him because he's not right. killing everybody. That's, that's the point fearing him. Yeah. yeah, they don't understand that. You know, he's not that type of leader. Yeah. And as we move on, and we'll we'll see that. You know. He's going to win over other people. Yeah, and I think that the last thing I would cover is uh, it was kind of interesting. They had an evil, in this one, an evil Chewbacca-looking <laughs> Oh, Wookie. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And uh, that kind of scared me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he and was. I never thought Chewbacca would scare me. Right, but this yeah. one did. And then, and then just when you thought Jabba the Hutt was, was done for, we have his... His evil cousins, oh, the no lady, thing. and it, like double like, the twins. Yeah, they call them the twins. People, they just riding around, and, and that's what they looking <laughs> things like job and uh-uh. funny looking. Things. And they trying to this dude. He was driving himself off with like a, a gerbil or something. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> like, I won't look at journals the same way ever again. He was wiping his face with it and everything. It was too weird. And then his sister says, "Oh, maybe we should kill him." Exactly, should... exactly. So they're not they're not to be messed around with. No, we'll they're like that. Jabba. People fear them. Yeah. So as we move in more into the story, like I said, I like the past and the present. Yeah. I like that finding out. Really, really yeah. interesting. Yeah. I found, I like finding out where he's from and what he's doing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
So I don't have anything else. No, Tom, do you have anything I, I think, else? I think we covered it. I think that um, just watch the episode. Yeah, please it's do. It's awesome. And uh, you know, please tune in next time. Mm -hmm. ESL students and everybody out there, thank you. Thank you. And please join us for episode, what, three? Yes, we'll be doing episode three, you guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm Kathy. I'm Tom. And we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.